like a little bobble head but um if you don't know i had cut my hair last year and i dyed it purple and i kept it cut for i kept getting my hair cut like every two months to keep my length i was going shorter i was doing like a lot of fun styles i had like the back of my head shaved with designs and all that fun stuff um i was really um i was just really stepping way out of my comfort zone in the hair department last year and um my last cut was i think a month or two months ago so now i'm just trying to get my hair back healthy and i want to get my length back that i once had again so i don't want to do any more haircuts so i want to grow my hair out i've been natural for about six years now and um so this is just kind of what we're dealing with right now so my hair my hair comes to about right here now with the haircut so, um, what was I about to say? So what I did is I wet my hair, fully wet the hair, like get under, do it in the shower, get under a sink or whatever, and then you're going to... So basically what you need to achieve this hairstyle, what I use to achieve this hairstyle is you're going to need Echo Style Gel, and this is the Argan Oil kind. You're going to need Hicks Edges. This is like a must. I love to put this on my edges. You're going to need a dense brush or... Um, a boy brush as I call it that boys use I'll probably insert a picture somewhere so you guys know this is like a teasing brush and I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply you're going to need um, I use two sizes of bands this one is a little bit thicker this one is thinner so if you can see the difference this is just my preference this is what I use um, two different kinds and then you're going to need bobby pins but not um, the regular bobby pins, the I'm trying to show you like a cute one. They're open, they're not closed. So the main ingredient, I went to the beauty supply and I just got this brand. I never used this before, I didn't know. I just looked at the texture of what I wanted and I picked one because my hair is jet black. So jet black equals a one. Beauty supply, this was in $1.99 to use this hair. So this is what we're gonna use. So we're just gonna cut the rubber band part. Now this is how the hair looks and it's pretty long. I'm just gonna shake it out because it's been in the bag. So now I'm gonna show you how to make this secure for the ponytail that we're about to do. So this is how the hair looks fresh out the package. So they have a rubber band to separate it. I mean not to separate it but to show you where the middle part is. We don't want to cut that so we want to um, just leave the rubber band on there. It's not gonna bother anything. We're gonna take a small scrunchie like this, and then we're going to do like the hot dog fold, I guess is what we're just gonna call it. Hot dog fold, and try to make this as neat as you can. I'm trying to make sure I stay in the frame. Dog fold, and then just kind of put your finger right there. We're gonna take the thicker band, and we're gonna pull this to give us like a little room, and then we're gonna just tie the thick band around the small band. Like you're doing like a like the smallest ponytail. Oop. Alright, I guess that's good enough. So we're just gonna secure it like that. So it should look something like this. You can see these little loops. So it's gonna look like this. Super secure. Okay? Okay, so this is the one we just did. And this is the second bag of hair. Just the same. So I'm gonna only use two bags of hair. You can use three, you can use four, whatever, but I just wanna use two. So this was already done. This is the one we just did. All right, so here comes the fun part. We're gonna take the thicker band and we're gonna loop it through here. I'm sorry, Ugh, I keep getting out the frame. We're gonna loop it through the little two loops that we made. And then we're gonna loop it. It should look like this. With the two bags of hair on it. So after this, we're going to take this and, it's like I keep saying loop. 
just gonna pull it just like that so now this is secure by this and it's not going anywhere and this is two bags of hair see how simple that was super easy so now that we have our ponytail like this it's very secure with all these bands next we're going to position it the way we want to wear it I'm just going to have a regular just high ponytail. So what I want to do is, let's see, I want to make sure this right here, since I want my ponytail to just be a regular high ponytail, I want to take the band, put it over my bun like this, make sure the hair is flowing to the front, and then we're going to wrap the elastic band that we did around our bun. Okay, so I want the hair to flow this way. So after we secured it, it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna take the bobby pins and we're just going to secure this part into our bun. All right, so once we pin that down a little bit, um, we're not gonna leave it like this because then that will look really jank, real jank. And make sure you press your bobby pin. The thing is, I'm looking, I would normally do this in front of a mirror, but all I, all I have is my viewfinder. So this point until I have no mirror in front of me, so. So, we're not gonna leave it like this. We're going to hide the elastic bands that we did with a piece of hair. So we're going to take a piece of hair from the hair extension that we used like this. And then I'm just going to wrap it around the elastic parts. So just wrap it around your ponytail to make it look like a hair band. So there you have it. Just work with it and get it positioned like you want it, but just make sure you have your bobby pins in place and none is showing and the ponytail and everything feels really secure. Um, make sure you don't run your fingers too much through this hair because it's um, braiding hair. It's not, you know, hair extensions uh, like clip-ins or actual ponytails. So just make sure you just don't run your hands through it. I just shake it and then if, um, it really doesn't get tangled at the bottom, but if it is, you take like the end of your comb and then just kind of go through it just like this since it's so thick and dense. And that's it. But um, this is how you do the pointing cells. This is how it should look. You can wear it to the side. You can wear it lower. Um, you can even twist it up and then do a bun with the same type of technique. I'm not a hairstylist. I just really wanted a really cute simple genie ponytail and I wanted to give my hair like a break from sew-ins and stuff like that so I just thought this was like a really really cute idea and this is how it looks in the back once you prep the hair like you need it to be with an elastic band this takes five minutes to do you can switch up your look every day with this it's so versatile and then once you're done just take it off and lay it somewhere <laughs> And lay your hair down somewhere and just wear your hair whatever you want to do with your hair um, it's very fun it's simple it's like a pr protective style really because your hair is no heat you have gel on it um, so you can sling and slay all day that's cute right you can sling and slay all day this is so cute just make sure you don't sling too much you do not want you going one way and your ponytail go another way. We don't want that because that's not cute. So just make sure you know, just keep it real cute. Kind of do like a little, if you plan to just sling it a little bit. It's so cute. I really like this hairstyle, super simple. And I'm so happy that I know how to do it. I'm really not, I really don't know how to do hair. I had to learn because I was natural and I had to keep up with my hair, but I really don't know how to do like a lot of hairstyles. It's like a typical, you know, curls, flat iron, curls, flat iron, wear your hair down, stuff like that. 
So finding this really cute style, I'm really excited and it's so cute. And I think I'll be in it and I think you will be in it too. So just try it out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you for watching. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Make sure to hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat. Make sure to hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. If you have any questions and I'm not replying quick enough in the comment section below, hit me up on Twitter. I reply just like that. Follow me. All my platforms are under Flyer Push and it's one word. And um, let me know what you think about this tutorial. And if you try it out, let me know. Tag me in the photo. Uh, let me see. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.